Combine like terms. 11x minus a negative 7x minus 14 minus a negative 6x plus 7. Now look at the negative 14 just for a minute. That's what a negative looks like, isn't it? Okay. Now when you have minus a minus 7x, that doesn't look like a negative, does it? Well, how many negatives do you have here? Two negatives, don't you? Two negatives. It's not like this negative 14. This is just a negative number, isn't it? This isn't, because I have two negatives. So when we write this, don't think that's going to be a minus 7x. Let's, let me show you. Let me erase this, and we'll start off with our 11x. Since this does not look like the negative 14, we're going to write a positive 7x. So two negatives make a plus. Bring down the negative 14. Two negatives make a plus, a positive. Bring down the 7. Now we have my 11x, my 7x, and I'm going to put the 6x next. I'm going to commute these two. Put the negative 14 and then the 7. Now what is 11 plus 7? That's 18. And 18 plus 6 is 24x. Now this is owing $14 and paying back 7. You no longer owe 14 because you paid back some of it. Okay? You still owe some money because you didn't pay back 14. How much do you owe? I owe $7. 24x minus 7.